one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, and this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot speed in the grappling game. He is able to use throws in judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Right, with that, the win ends here. Both fighters have raced the octagon, and we are raring to go from a sold out Eddie Hot Arena here in Abu Dhabi, UAE. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, downtown. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about Ready. to get underway. Good. Well, so much UFC history has taken place here in Abu Dhabi, and plenty more where that came from tonight as we return to the Etihad Arena. This place is beautiful. Kind of reminds me of the Superdome a little bit. Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, outside of the color of the Superdome, it is not up to par with the Eddie Hot Arena, which make me take a shot at my own team. But yes, absolutely stunning venue, and the fights have been top-notch here. Loads up on the right hand and lands. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Oh, and he tags it with the straight, beautifully placed there by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice leg kick. He landed another nice leg kick there. Oh, nice up and there. When he gets close and he throws, he lands. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Fighter blocks a punch. Ooh, nice, nice right hand. Takedown defense holds up. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Left hook counter there yet again. Just out of range with that left hook. Wow, huge head kick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that speed the dance. Just over three minutes to go. He did a great job setting up that high kick. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Nice punch, man. Gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to fight uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. Lands a nice straight. Right on the button. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. Two minutes to go. Nice. Oh, solid kick right there. Fighter lands a left punch, nicely done. 
Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Nice kick to the body. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, so there it is with the punch. One thing to have a reach advantage. Another two in court. Whiffs on that offering. Drives the shin into the rib. Great body kick. Takedown defense holds up. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. 20 seconds left. Trying to connect now with the overhand left. No good. Final seconds. Oh! Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Oh. Outstanding back and forth first round. Both guys showing up in a big way tonight. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I mean, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision, and his ability to just not... <laughs> Stand after you take a head kick like this, that is such a toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, clean hey. hook there. Oh, boy, what a nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. Oh. Power shots landing on both sides, and the chins continue to hold up. combination there he is just killing him with volume tonight jab right hand body shot i mean kicks what a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination tremendous head kick there from this guy unable to connect there Superboy gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Leg kick lands nicely done. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. <laughs> Under three minutes now to go in the round. So we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taking a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots because the swelling's starting now. It's light, 
But if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. Oh! Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bojovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Joy's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well to Clean punch. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. Nice defense there. Huge block. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on. Well, he was a little bit had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! It's a big knee. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blow, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Big right hand there. 15 seconds remain in the round. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Oh. Ten minutes in the can. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Block that one. Oh, and yet another knee. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to get too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big right hand. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Oh, beautiful job to snap his head back with that counter strike. So he's landed several of his patented counters here in this round, really doing an excellent job, not just with his offensive timing, but with his defensive skills as well. Real quick leg kick. Just touching him with the jab. He's swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. I love that one. I love when the guy throws a kick with that much power. Takedown defense holds up. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Good job defensively to block that punch. Looked like that body kick got home. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. He's in trouble. Just 
over three minutes to go in round three. Landing a good series of strikes here. Choi's not making things easier on the opponent right now, continuing to target that damaged nose, and that strike certainly found the target. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. That's a solid punch. That one definitely got through. He's throwing these punches in combination. Really dictates the face of his opponent. Knee to the body now. It's blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Blinked it a little bit, trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Less than two minutes now to go. Back and forth we go. Clipped him with the jab. So some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Down defense holds up. Short time now in the round. Let's open up that now. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there again. He talked off the top about his size advantage. Put it to good use there. Hands high, 30 hands seconds high. to go here. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus is to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Schedule for five, five minutes. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Connected with a solid punch right there. Oh, man. He's in trouble. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly... Oh, the hit kick there as it lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, big left hook there. Oh! Oh, that's high kick. He's hurting him bad. 
right, man. That right hook is nasty. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. He kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Choi's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for headhunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. He's hurt bad. He's got to move. Oh, he got him again. Just over two minutes to go in the round. He gets to the single collar tie. Put him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Oh, nice little right hook there. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. He's got a ton of finish here. Nice defense there. Huge block. Exchanged in the pocket there. Hands higher, hands higher. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You'd think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Downstairs and Lord have mercy, man. This could be the beginning of the John, it's time for his corner to start looking at stopping this fight. He has taken far too many of these leg kicks. All right, mixing up the leg kicks nicely, and that thigh starting to show some visible signs of bruising now. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. Round four. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. Let's get this fight to the all right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, it was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. You ready to fight? You ready? It. it is the fifth and final round. Nice defense there. Huge block. lands and he's got him hurt very bad and now leather being thrown on both sides
Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Boom, straight left hand. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Fighter blocks a punch. Uh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, that calf is a new shade of purple right now. I'm not sure he's going to be able to stand up much longer. I mean, it's swollen, it's bruised, it's all beat up. He takes one or two more, this fight's going to be stopped. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. All right, so another one. Well, most of you remember exactly when this cut happened, and now it is getting real. He's got to try to finish here. Hands high, hands high. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Let your hands go. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, head kick lands now. Yep. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back home. Oh, another crushing leg kick. Man, that one left. He is throwing his hip into every one of these kicks, and it is taking an effect on his opponent. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. <laughs> Looks like that body kick got home. Two minutes now to go in this one. Well, if these were calf kicks, this fight would likely already be over, but I would say it's pretty critical with the thigh damage at this stage of the fight. It's very close, and the thigh is, is bigger. It's a bigger muscle, so it takes more damage in order to limit him. But look at his movement. He can barely move around the octagon now. He's very, very close to being stopped by leg kicks. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. What an absolute war it has been. Probably going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation, and I wouldn't be surprised to see both fighters at the hospital later team. It just takes me back to certain fights. It takes me back to Michael Johnson against Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje versus Michael Chandler. Michael Chandler versus Dustin Poirier. The best fights in the world is what I think about when I look at these two. From the blood, from the damage, to the heart and the spirit that these two have. I cannot believe that these guys have made it to a minute left in the fight with that type of ability. Good work, guys. Come on. Good job defensively to block that punch. Beautiful strike. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Well, you can chalk this up to a forgettable night at the office. He is losing the fight. His cardio is essentially on empty. Might be time to pass that control. It's time to pass the stick. Hand it over to your homeboy, man. It's over. You try. There's an effort, but it's over. Time winding down, final seconds of the fight. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Oh, out action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight.
All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48-47, 49-47, and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho 